Particle accelerators are our only instrument to penetrate the heart of matter. They are machines that give energy to unimaginably small subatomic particles like electrons or protons. Where an atom is a millionth of a millimeter, these particles can be even smaller. Accelerators use electric fields to give particles energy and speed them up, and magnetic fields to contain them in a circle. Using these accelerated particles, we can precisely deliver energy to the atoms. We can penetrate the atoms and modify their nuclei. We can also smash them against other particles and produce new particles from the collision energy. By concentrating massive amounts of energy in a tiny space, accelerators can recreate the conditions of our universe as they were one billionth of a second after the Big Bang, before light even existed. Thanks to particle accelerators, scientists have been able to make major steps forward in our understanding of the universe. Most notably, the discovery of a Higgs boson particle in 2012, which helped explain the origin of the mass of everything around us. Of course, particle accelerators are not just used for pure scientific research. They also have a major role to play in our everyday lives, which not everyone knows about. The overwhelming majority, more than 95% of the accelerators, they are used for medical applications or by industry. So from in medicine, excited are used to produce radioactive isotopes, which can be used for diagnosis of diseases in the human body or for cancer therapy. We can use a well-focused proton beam to treat uh, cancer tumors in a human body, which is a very important application today. We also use accelerators to produce isotopes in, in hospitals and clinics. They are treating cancer, that this is very important, and they are at the same time doing also the imaging. This means they are helping to get um, the images of the treatments, the images of the tumors, the images of bones. The thing is that um, all these facilities become very big as compared to the past. And some of these facilities would use the power of half of a, uh, of a power plant. And that's of course something which we cannot easily accept. We have to improve on that. The purpose of our efforts is to make this process more efficient. There is a lot of development making access consume less energy, more reliable and making them more compact to be more sustainable and affordable. That's a dream for the long-term future, to have very tiny accelerators producing focused electron beams at very high energy. A dream that might not be so far away. European research and development efforts such as the ARIES project are hoping to push the frontier of particle accelerator science even further. High temperature superconductor can buy us this incredible very high field that will bring us in a new frontier of accelerator. Because with this material we can make more powerful magnets. They can carry more current than the superconductor of the LEC at much higher field. There is new uh, roads on this, uh, just uh, instead of using the electrical fields, there is also application that will come, for instance, of using this new laser plasma acceleration. That this is really nice, because in that case you have um, a wave that is created by a laser and the particles are surfing these things. If we could do this uh, really a reality, it could be really a big uh, advantage. Many researchers across the globe are working together to push accelerator technology forward and hoping to improve our everyday lives in the process. But there are still many challenges yet to face. Making particle accelerators more powerful, but at the same time smaller, more energy efficient and more reliable, and bring this technology out to hospitals and industry is our main challenge. And to address this challenge, 41 European universities and laboratories have joined effort with industry to put together the ARIES project. <laughs>